Trump dodged a bullet, but economy won't be so lucky. Ladies and gents, what did Peter Schiff mean by this? Of course, we get the first part. I'm talking about the second. But economy won't be so lucky. I'm, this is not a political channel, but of course, this is a finance, modern finance. And let's focus on why won't the economy not be lucky. I'm not going to play this video. He released this two days back. He's traveling and I've covered him twice, reacted to his views. And he has this strong stance, like strong take, uh, take on this economy. He's been sticking on this for quite some time. And it makes sense to me. Some of the underground people I follow. And it adds up. It's Prime Day today, Amazon Prime Day. Sales are so low since yesterday. It's never been like this. So yeah, that's the retail section. You have the banking, do you know, doom and gloom. And there's so much more. The commercial, I'm not even going to get there. But And then at the same time, you see stock market, the tech rallies. Of course, that's taking a breather right now. But then you have the crypto boom. So I want to touch on that real quick, okay? And I'm, I'll, I won't play this because there's no point. It's a long one hour video, I guess. However, Uncle Sully got your back. Yes. We'll summarize it for you. And then I'll give you my two cents. And then how about we check some of the comments? Yeah. Gives you a wider perspective of what people think. Keeping some of the trolls aside. Okay. An assassination attempt on Donald Trump has intensified political tensions, but the real storm is the looming economic crisis. Schiff highlights that Trump's arrival may boost his election chances, but it won't shield the economy from impending disaster. The US faces high inflation, government deficits, and unsustainable debt levels. I mean, that's just real. Whoever gets selected, they will have to print in order to get this USA out of whatever, right? So one might print a little lesser than the other, but both kind of printed, you know, previously as well. Uh, they're going to print a lot more. So inflation, yeah. Just letting you know, like whoever comes, it might it'll not change the broader perspective, okay, of the economic macro micro. It's going to take a, some time, some very decent time, according to all these gurus. Jerome Powell's recent congressional testimony showcased the Fed's reluctance to address government spending role in inflation. Instead, Powell focuses on temporary measures that don't tackle root issues. Meanwhile, Biden's press conference blamed inflation on corporate greed, ignoring the government's reckless fiscal policies. It's just one blaming the another one. Again, at the same end of the day, they will have to print in order to be in the good books. Okay? And what happens when you print so much of money out there? Yeah. With mounting deficits and also the deficits is going to keep going up unless they're going to keep kicking the can down the road unless i really don't know okay we'll have to figure that out with mounting deficits and a weakening dollar Schiff predicts severe economic turmoil ahead stressing the importance of preparing now that's a very strong take right and now i want to show you something else as well you see this here donald trump has warned federal reserve chairman jerome powell against cutting interest rates before the upcoming US E in 2024. Why? So basically he's going to cut after that. So what happens after that? Things might just go up because when you cut interest rates, people can borrow for less, right? And then dump it into asset classes, whatever, crypto and stock. Then everything moons. I'm, talk I'm not talking about just retailer. I'm talking about the yeah higher levels who has access to cheap money, who probably will get also access to cheap money down the road. All right, because retailers are kind of broke that's the sales data that's what's saying the unemployment rate is saying that and uh my channel is mostly focused on retailers right i consider myself as the same level in a way but we can rise together if we follow the right things and actually take it the way it is acknowledge instead of being the fake instead of eating the fake opium all the time all right so this is also very weird he says not to cut before that everything's mooning right now all right but you see this it it, it correlates the interest rate uh, it has a lot to do with the stock market and some of the uh, it's there's no doubt this move has sparked a debate about the independence of the federal reserve and the potential impact on the economy independence are they politically motivated to do certain things you get the point because if you don't you might get fired some argue that trump's warning is an attempt to influence the fed for political gain while others believe that the Fed should maintain its independence and make decisions based on economic indicators rather than political pressures. But how do we even know that they are not under the table motivated by some other means? We don't. He probably just raised his voice straight up. That's a different story, right? 
The discussion also touches on historical pre uh, precedents and the political potential consequences of rate cuts on the economy and the election outcomes. So, yes, ladies and gents, that's there. All right. Now, I actually want to. And so basically, I told you, I'll give me my two cents and we'll check on the comments. Basically, I just mentioned whoever kind of comes in the party right now. I mean, this guy, he's literally he has a bandage and he's going around giving speeches. He's so motivated to win. I mean, I've not seen any president in the past like him. Like if you think about it. Anyways, keeping that aside, whoever wins, whoever you want to vote for, right? The lesser evil, the whatever, who will favor you, so-called. But I'll just tell you this, based on whatever is happening in the economy, the cuckery they have caused in the banking section and this and that, it's going to take quite some time to heal. I hope someday soon, but so whoever comes in, will have to print and you can see the deficit will go up there's no other way until something changes in the system which let's wait and see right so he makes sense to me and i see this come from most of the other underground gurus and the people i kind of follow then i'm give, you know taking it from them and giving to you and of course he's a gold supporter i like gold i like bdc i like uh, well i mean precious metal i like yeah every asset classes Beside real estate, because I don't have any as of now, which we'll discuss that down the road, the housing crisis and whatever. Housing market cancelled. Yeah. Housing market. Housing crash cancelled, actually. The market cancelled. Anyways, ladies and gents, just wanted to give you my two cents real quick on this thingy. So let's actually see how this plays out. All right. And last but not least, I told you, we'll check on some of the comments. Let's go. Thank you, Peter, for speaking about it. You're absolutely right about the rhetoric and media watching this episode right now and you're spot on. <laughs> it's a little political, some of them, obviously, because he's talked about Trump. Love him or hate him. Nobody can deny that Trump is one of the strongest people the US has ever seen in public office. I mean, kudos, man. You you would love him or hate him. The dude literally stood up. What I mean, who if you think some people say it's a conspiracy, inside job, this, that. I mean, dude. And then they say some other stuff. How did the Secret Service not see this and blah, blah, blah. But it just happened, went by, people forgot about it. Now he's going around again. It's a, it's a rare scenario. Like I mentioned in the previous video, like we are living in the wildest time era in history, without a doubt. Powell is not an economist. That's just the beginning of what is so wrong with the Fed. So true. Biden wants to settle in the battle box. Let's go, Peter Schiff. <laughs> <laughs> Gains are like being taxed for a $20 bill you saw on the sidewalk, but didn't pick it up. Right after Biden made a statement about the incident, I noticed he looked nervous and upset instead of concerned about Trump. Hey, 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 I'm just reading the comments. Some people want the media to lie at them if it fits with in their reality, in their narrative. Oh yeah, no doubt. Powell knows how to press enter the government. Powell and Yellen, they have the power. They have the most powerful. Like, literally, you understand that, right? Unbelievable. They control the whole monetary policies and supply. Josh Howell and Peter Schiff president. Josh Howell is a very interesting senator. I don't know much about senators, but I watch a couple of them, like debate and stuff. And I'm like, man, this guy has some power. I like his stance on certain things. Yeah. Don't all of us have to agree with everything, but yeah. Great commentary, Peter. We appreciate you. And look at Peter, Peter Schiff, man. How old is he? He's still out there hustling. He has a kid, he's like traveling in Turkey and whatnot, still hustling, doing videos, right? So, man, we can make it. If this guy can still survive with gold and whatever stuff he has done in the, you know, at least we can do in a different level, all right? So, yeah, hang in there, hang in there, man. Just stay strong. I'll do a video on side hustle. I, I, this, there's a new topic. It's a huge topic. Americans are now so much into side hustles than ever before in history, all right? So stay tuned, man, because I've been living on side hustles since 2006 freelancing and everything and then yeah branched out to some extent considering a young mid-income short-term minded person with constant need for cash are these still worth investing into he's talking about gold and stuff oh hell no i woke up in turkey for a ship a secret service whose secret is out i sympathize with many people who had no knowledge digital marketing because currently don't Dollar is unstable and coin is taking over. What coin? The people are like shilling stuff right now. Look at this. There are a lot of unnecessary shills. I just want to see something. And when I do this impromptu, don't know what to expect. That's just a downside 
of the comments. If you get on the wrong channel, boom, all the random BS. Anyways, I don't want to do this anymore. Thanks so much for giving intro, uh, intro into your thoughts on the trauma assassination attempt. I agree with everything you said. What an incredible man he is. We're extremely lucky to still have him at the critical dangerous moment. Hmm. Hunter calls his special secret service operation. Yeah, I mean, he dropped his, you know. Hey, whose powder is that, man? Whose powder? Pick it up, bro. Oh, no. That's not mine. That's not mine. All right, ladies and gents, listen. Let's give you my, just want to give you my two takes, two cents on this. All right. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Pretty wild times, right? But stay strong. And I'll see you in the next vid. Peace.